Oh, this light's a bit spooky, isn't it? Don't like that. Good morning, everyone. It's a bit strange that you can only see half my face. It's very spooky. It's currently day three in the Lay District, and uh, it's very early in the morning. It's precisely five past six. I got up a quarter past four this morning. I wanted to make the most of my last day because, well, it's my last day for a start, <laughs> but um, I've had really bad weather over the last two days, as you will know. I'm not gonna go on about it anymore, um, but it's been tough shooting. So the weather today has been forecast to be clear. Can't believe it. So I thought if I get up early this morning, I've got a great chance at a good sunrise. I've come to Derwent Water. I'm gonna be shooting an iconic shot here, which is the Ashness Jetty. I've saw this photographed a lot of times. It's a nice, simple, uh, minimal composition, but with some really nice light, and hopefully with some flat conditions, then it should be a really nice photograph. But anyway, I'm gonna get my photography gear ready, and then I'm gonna head down to the lake. See you in a moment. <laughs> just love beautiful mornings like this especially when you're in the Lake District it's quiet it's peaceful the conditions are looking good oh, I can't tell you how happy I am so I'm gonna set up my camera in a minute to make sure everything's ready so I don't miss this and then I'm gonna be shooting a long exposure which makes this water nice and blurry and silky and lovely. And then, if I get a nice shot here, I think I might even move on a little bit further down the lake um, to where there's, uh, I can't remember what it's called actually. Uh, it's uh, where all the boats land, but there's a couple of compositions down there which will be worth capturing, so I'll probably carry on thereafter. Okay, so sunrise is about 25-ish minutes away. Um, and there's a bit of colour in the sky over there, which this phone really doesn't show very well. But I'm yet to get that really delicious light I was looking for, so oh, I'm just hoping it comes through. But if it doesn't, it's still a hell of a lot better than it has been for the last two days, so, you know, I'll take it if this is all I get. And it's a lovely location, lovely and peaceful. And I've got it all on my own. This is the first time in the three days I've been here that I've actually got a location to myself. I had a couple of people pull up on the main road, um, saw me with my lights on this jetty and then carry on driving. So uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I haven't got to jostle for a spot. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that light and see if I can get a shot. Right, settings, I'm getting distracted, sorry guys. So F11, that's what I'm shooting it with. Also, I'm using a one second exposure and I'm bracketing this to one stop either side. I've focused on the furthest peak in the distance, so I've manual focused onto that. Um, so you would say that's really focused to infinity because that's the furthest point. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my photo. Let's see how this comes out. I think I have the Lake District curse. It's a real thing. It's a real thing, and I've got it. 
I thought I was going to get that beautiful light, you know, that kind of light which is worth getting out of bed at quarter past four in the morning for. I shouldn't complain, I have got some nice photos being here, but I just haven't got that light, that beautiful golden light. The clouds moved in, and yeah, it's just completely obscured the sun. So, I think the wise move right now is to pack up my gear and get on the move. I think I'm going to go to the other side of the lake where the boat landing is and I'm going to potentially see if the conditions are a bit better over there because that is actually where there is a bit of a clearing over there. So yeah, fingers crossed. I've had a lot of fingers crossed this weekend um, but hopefully I can get just a couple more photos, some really nice ones before I head back home. I know I'm spoiling the view, what you can see of me, but I came here instead and um, <laughs> I'm so happy I did. Oh, that photo that I've been searching for the whole time that I've been in the Lake District, that incredible light, that perfect vista view, everything has come together at the last moment and I am over the moon, even if I do look like a yeti. So happy guys, so happy. I'm going to take some photos and just feel blissful. Okay guys, so that's it. I've come to the end of my trip in the Lake District. I've had a challenging, difficult and yet wonderful time. I'm so happy I came with the issue with my leg. It could have stopped me, but I thought, no, do you know what, I'm gonna go. And I've managed to get around okay. I've managed to get to different places. It's just the weather which wasn't exactly how I wanted it to be but we can't control the weather can we i'm really happy as well that last final image i got just a minute ago that just topped off this whole journey for me now i'm going to be back in the lake district in about six to eight weeks time and i'm going to be doing location scouting then because if you don't already know i've got a couple of workshops planned in the peak district next year in 2019 and i would like to add a couple in the lake district to it well, first, I need to familiarise myself with this area a little bit better. So if any of you want to share your ideas with me on locations I should definitely check out in the Lake District area. Um, I know some of you live on the outskirts of this place. You've definitely won the landscape lottery because <laughs> it's an amazing place to live. Um, so yeah, just share your comments below and let me know places that I should definitely go and check out. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching me along this journey and if this is your first time watching by the way definitely check out the first two videos I'll put them in a playlist here so you can check them out there thanks again uh, guys for watching and whatever you do today have a fantastic day and I'll see you next week